Once you have your database created, let's go ahead and try connecting to it so that we can start working with it. There are a couple great tools to connect to your databases. One that I like to recommend is Table Plus, and another that is really good is DataGrip by JetBrains. I'm gonna go ahead and use Table Plus. Let me go back to my DigitalOcean dashboard, and you can see all of your credentials right here. And another thing to note is make sure that your IP address for the current computer that you're using is in the trusted sources. If it's not in there and you have other trusted sources set, you won't be able to connect to your database. I'm going to go over to connection parameters here. I'm gonna click connection string. I'm gonna click show password. And I'm going to copy this entire string right here. And let me jump over to table plus. Here I have options to create a brand new database to connect to. I'm gonna click Postgres and I'm gonna click import from URL. And it pasted in the URL that I copied from my DigitalOcean dashboard. I'll name this DO database. And it has all of my credentials already in there. I'm gonna click test. That looks good and I'll click connect. And now we can see everything inside of this database. We can go in and click users. There are none right now. Posts, there's one in there. So we have a way to connect to our database all from this connection string right here. You can use the same exact strategy to connect to your database from your applications and you're off to building.